Please direct to land use change modeling and LCA. Yep. All right. Yep. So, uh, can I just call you Miko? Miki? 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 It's okay. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, title of this talk is How to Choose a Model. And I think a model. Yeah. Are you going to talk about these guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's going to be really hard to choose a model between these guys. Can you assessment model, if you're talking about statistical models, if you're talking about Excel models or economic models, or actually when I say model, it could be really everything. <laughs> I wish. Uh, or, or, for gender equality, it could also be this, so I can also quote from the girls. Uh, but actually, you see, all of them are models. Uh, uh, so it depends which model, it depends what, what we need to do with them. <laughs> we, can, we can categorize them with VIP models or PhD models. <laughs> I don't have time for the class. So, uh, PhD models, uh, uh, yeah, I work unfortunately with PhD models. So in particular, I work with indirect I look models. Um, but I haven't told you what is an iLook model, so I Google it. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't help. Uh, so basically, Google is saying that yeah, iLook means this. <laughs> it's really interesting, but I didn't find the research fund for this. Uh, but I found the research fund for this, so I work with indirect land use changes. And this, I don't know either, but apparently, <laughs> let you change it's uh, the, uh, the, the impact that takes place directly on a piece of land when we occupy it for production, while the indirect land use change is an impact that takes place somewhere else in the world as a consequence of occupying a piece of land here. So when we occupy a piece of land, we displace some production that will be, take place somewhere else in the world. This is the indirect land use change, not that easy. So let's make an, an example. <clears throat> Biofuel production. Now, before the iLook concept was introduced in impact assessment, uh, biofuel production looked something like that. Ah, it's going to be great. The, the world's going to be greener. We have found a way to clean transportation. The cars are going to be all green. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> but then somebody said in 2008, uh, uh, two guys from the public published a very important paper. Uh, 
like bullshit that they publish on the site. <laughs> and they said, uh, well, what about the internet when it's cheap? You said, what? And they said, yeah, well, what about the effect that takes place somewhere else in the world? So all of a sudden, all the results were screwed up, and, and the new results looked like this. I am only stealing the land for the poor and the food for the third world, and there's not enough land for the farmers. Somebody was saying that the impact of Europe's final fuel plan on carbon emission on land was driving the war to destruction. And you were right, because when we actually, when we actually demand for more land, uh, we push for that demand of land, but we only have one planet. Uh, so, what, uh, what, what was that? There are still, uh, I, there are still people <laughs> claiming that I does not exist, and they are very convincing scientific reasons for that. Uh, okay, let me get back to this island, actually. Maybe, maybe I'm just working for a biofuel company, that's my first assumption. So, why do we need iLoop models? Why do we need to model it? Well, we need to model to understand where the hell this displaced production will take place. So, uh, the solution is not hanging on trees, unfortunately, because we are cutting them down. <laughs> so, how to choose a model? We need to choose a model according to the characteristic of the model. So, we need to classify the model, and according to what we need, we choose a model. So, for example, let's go back to the IT model for better. So we classify them in male or female, or we, we want to be complete, so we also have another <laughs>
last thing you saw, I didn't, I couldn't say it because we were clapping, so I, I had the three bombs. <laughs> <laughs>